You've all been up to the public trough too long. Mr. Stone, have you heard from FEMA yet? Or do you even care? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mabey. Next speaker will be Jay Cuevas, followed by Ann Weston, followed by Mr. Suggest that everybody, please don't get too attached to those pictures. However cute they might be. There we go. Is it adjusted? Neither. I just wanted to describe these animals for you. This is the LA pocket mouse. This is the northern burrowing owl, and this right here is. Uh, uh, two of the kangaroo rats. You see one is endangered, like highly endangered, and one is not endangered. Like I could make a kangaroo rat sandwich if need be, but I don't want to. I hear they're not good. So I'll just give you my little speech real quick. As you see today, I actually have seeds, and that's quite important. I'll be talking today about legal grading, as Mr. Maybe just did, and about Mr. Jeff Stone's favoritism involving these four animals, which breaks down to those animals I just showed. Uh, it's a story of uh, dirt and soil and, uh, unfortunately, a slow death. You see, Mr. Stone, when this illegal grading happened, um, you did not do an environmental impact report, nor did you request one. And seeing as you didn't stop it, these animals more than likely will die. Now, you see, uh, the kangaroo rats and the L.A. pocket mouse are both hibernating right now. However, they're hibernating deep below the soil. Their food stores are above the soil. So as the bulldozers come, as the cars come, as everything comes, the food stores is going to be destroyed. The reason they store the food is because they can't get fat enough to actually hibernate fully. So what's going to happen to these guys is, well, when time comes for them to get up their midnight snack, they're going to die of exhaustion, digging and clawing and digging and clawing. The reason I brought the seeds here today is quite simple. I can get seeds today, you can get seeds today, everybody can get seeds today. However, these guys, no seats for them. Mr. Stone, I know you got a good grading permit, things like that, and it was filled the same day it was applied. So they applied for it, they got it. It's a standard operating procedure. So if I were to illegally grade on an acre of land, I'd be automatically given a permit, no fines, no environmental impact report. The sheriff wouldn't have to be notified. Ordinance 787, I believe it was, Mr. Maybe. I just don't think this is standard operating procedure as far as these things go. Now, there is a unique, healthy population of L.A. pocket mouse, one of the last in the world, and it's threatened and protected. Now, I know you ignored these things to protect your constituents, which is understandable, but it's not right. And these pocket mouses don't care if you find golden air productions, and mostly because they're dead, probably already. But it would make me feel a lot better. Um, I just want you guys to take a look at that. And out of the very last page, just take a look at the letter and ask yourself about the timeline. My time's almost up, so I'll respond to whatever question you have. No comments to your disingenuous comments, Mr. Cuevas. Next speaker will be Ann Weston. Take your seats. <laughs> 